Hey everybody, Montios V6 here. Hope you guys like the uh, point of view from the last time, uh, from the last vlog that I did. So, we're gonna try it again with a different point of view. Rather than it just being over here on my gauge cluster. That way I can see my whole gauge cluster and what I got going on. And, also, uh, sweet. Hoping it holds pretty well. So I'm trying to get my first vlog, the second vlog, uploaded, and it's a big pain in the ass because when I first rendered it, you know, I edited, edited it, and then I rendered it, and I had it rendered in AVI format. Oh my god, worst mistake I've ever done for editing video. I kid you not, I put it on YouTube to upload it at. Uh, 8 o'clock, 8 o'clock at night, right? And when I woke up this morning at 11.30, got up, turned my computer, well, turned the monitor on because the computer was still on, and it was at 89%. Yep, I don't know. Maybe it's just a really big file, but I don't know if you guys follow me on Twitter. I had it posted up on Twitter. <laughs> I'm like, nope, nope train on that AVI nope train or something like that. So, I took, I'm doing renderception, I'm rendering AVI, the AVI video in the uh, WMV or WVA or so, with the Windows video, or the Windows video file, WMV, I think that's what it is. So, we'll see how good that's, that's going on. It seems to be going pretty quickly, so I hope it's going to reduce the size. If not, I might just have to completely, completely redo it. And if I do, this actually might be the second vlog, so I'm not really sure about that. And I'm hoping he doesn't turn around and flip his lights on. It was a cop that just passed me. He was looking at me too as he was going by, so I don't know if he was gonna try to pull something on me or something anyways. So if this is, I'm pretty sure it's gonna work, but if this is the third vlog, Then I did go to the range with my dad and his friend and shot pretty good, you know, I wasn't really trying to do any target practice with it, with my Mosin. I was just, just shooting just to have fun, you know, same thing with my dad. And I uh, brought 50 rounds with me and went through all that in an hour and then some. Uh, yeah, like I said, I wasn't really planning on like trying to get pretty accurate, unlike the, the, the first time I went there um, I did pretty good usual stuff uh, the one thing I have an issue with is loading the first round into the chamber so I had the stripper clips even without the stripper clips just single loading them singly loading them I can't talk to that I don't know why into a magazine one by one that still jams up I was looking up online and I'm thinking it's because of the the uh, was it the rim lock interrupter. <sighs> Sorry, I'm tired. The round interrupter switch or something. It's called something like that. And what it's supposed to do is there's a little notch that pops out and grabs onto the top of the, the second round that's in the magazine. What the hell is this? Probably shouldn't have come this way. And um and that's supposed to prevent it from rim locking, which is what the first round does. It The rim locks before the second one, causing the, to when you close the bolt to, um, you know, it gets jammed up and the round just dips forward because you're pressing on the back of it. And that's what the issue is. So I'm thinking that's what the issue is. Um, not really sure. I'll have to see once I actually take the gun out next month and clean it. Uh, just make sure everything's all oiled properly and stuff like that. I have in a silicone sock right now. Got it at Walmart. Oh, sorry, tired. Got it at uh, Wally World yesterday when I went. Yeah, and so remember that gun case I was trying to that I was telling you guys about. This is it. Yeah, it doesn't fit. The Mosin is 48 and a half inches. That's 48 inches. 
Thought it would fit, but it didn't. It doesn't. Couldn't, can't try making it fit either. So, I returned it. And, yeah, so that's what I'm doing right now. And you gotta get a couple other things, so. Yeah, not too much about that. That's about it, really. Shot my uh, dad's buddy's uh, World War One Luger. That thing was pretty sweet. Oh, super inaccurate. Oh my god. You would aim it at center mass, and then you would slowly squeeze the trigger, and it would go off. You'd end up shooting it like right up here. <laughs> I know. Pretty crazy. But that thing was having feeding issues. I don't know what it was. The magazine was tight to get in there. Um. It would. It was double feeding quite a bit. Uh, it wasn't the, the round. The slide wasn't coming back. And after it was double feeding, I just like nope, I'm not shooting this gun anymore. Well, it was nice to shoot. It was. It was pretty cool. I you know hold a piece of, another piece of history here compared to my Mosin. So it was nice. Sorry guys. Ugh. One of you guys must be yawning up watching my videos. Causing me to yawn, so thanks guys, appreciate it. Jesus. Um You know I was looking at I was looking at uh I was looking at the Red Brad's video of Call of Duty Advanced Warfighter walkthrough. That game looks pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. Now I'm not really a big Call of Duty fan because I haven't bought a Call of Duty game since Black Ops, which came out four years ago, 2010. And ever since then, I mean, I've seen gameplay footages, foot gameplay footage of all the different Call of Duty games that have come out since then. And you know, whether it be from online videos or just kind of checking it out in the store, really wasn't. Uh, you guys gotta stop yawning, so I stop yawning. Because we can't have that. The Call of Duty games are just not worthy of my money anymore. It's like, it, it's always the same gun sounds. The ridiculous gun sounds that they have. They're just like, I don't even know what. They take like the real gun sounds and they just kind of make it... But like all sci-fi-y. Kind of stupid. And the graphics have been the same for quite some time now for each game. Probably three different game Call of Duty games. The graphics has been the same. Um, gun sounds have been the same. AI has been ridiculously stupid, so that doesn't help. Uh, but this game, this Advanced Warfighter game, it's just, there's just something about it that just makes me want to get it. It's, uh, it's got way better, on, better AI. Huge step up in graphics. Like, damn. Like, you can tell that's a next-gen game. Well, that's because of different game engines. No, it's not, because if you look at the past previous Call of Duty games, I'm pretty sure they've used different game engines, and they've, they've made it look the same graphic quality-wise. It's kind of ridiculous, in my opinion. The gun sounds are pretty good. They don't even sound like the last five Call of Duty games, which is good, because they're trying to be different. Well, what I don't like is... There's barely no recoil in any of the guns. I mean, that's just that's just like a Call of Duty trademark right there, along with the other crap that they do. Um, AI is a lot better. Uh, what I'm really impressed with is, is the graphics. The graphics are outstanding. The gameplay, I was looking at uh, three, three gameplay parts of it. What did I tell you about Yoni, guys? Oh. Uh. Jesus. Uh, the gameplay is outstanding. I mean, the different, the way you actually go about the missions in the game is pretty incredible. And the fact that you have a suit now kind of reminds me of Edge of Tomorrow, which is what the Brad Brad was saying. And every, as he kept on saying that, I kind of realized, you know what, it kind of does look more and more like Edge of Tomorrow. Well, feel like it, so to speak. It's a really good game. It makes me actually want to go out and buy it, which I probably will, perhaps. Um, I gotta buy other things first here, though. Oh my god! 
Sorry guys, I don't mean to keep you on. I'm just, I don't know, I'm just tired for some reason. I'm probably gonna have to pick up an, an energy drink at Walmart. I think it's because I can't talk that I'm tired, or I'm tired. I can't talk because I'm tired. I don't know, but anyway, it's ridiculous. So besides Call of Duty, uh, one of the things I'm kind of looking at, that I have been looking at for about maybe a week or so now, is uh, my, winter, my winter parts list for my car. Oh. I'm gonna have to stop this yawning nonsense. I got a couple parts that I want to upgrade. Uh, basically, just kind of full bolt-ons, you know, and uh, just kind of do that over the winter, which is kind of probably going to be a thousand dollars plus spent on parts. So, uh, oh, one cool thing I found about my car was that it was built in September of this year. So when I bought a new car, I mean, I bought a new car. <laughs> uh, that's pretty awesome. Because I was looking online with forums and I was asking some questions. I didn't know when my car was built. And I'm like, how do you find that out? And one of the guys was like, oh, well, it's in the door panel. So I looked at it one day when my buddy dropped by with his new Mustang. And uh, I'm like, oh, shit. I bought it in September. That was like five weeks ago at the time I was looking at it. And I'm like, so when I bought a new car, I actually bought a new car. So I'm pretty cool about that. And I got about 18, 89 miles on her. And I'm loving her every step of the way. Mods are addicting, they're crazy. I've only done a few mods here and there. Mainly just mostly aesthetics. Like uh, headlights and fog light bulbs. Blacked out the center grill on the bottom. The lower grill, I should say. Um, Plasti did my rims, multicolored. And got a new shift knob, but that's not on here now in the winter because it's a big hunk of metal, aluminum, I guess you could say. And uh, it's just really cold in the winter. <sighs> so, <clears throat> kind of a bitch about that. Yeah, don't tell anybody though. Yep. So thanks guys so much for watching these videos. It kind of means a lot to me. I have noticed that I've been getting quite a few subscribers lately, which is awesome because you know I want to make my channel grow and kind of make this into you know something that I love doing. I don't know where I'm going with that. Give me a second here. Something that I love to do, I want to love it more. That's what I'm trying to say here. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys like these videos. And I'm hoping this isn't the second vlog, because if it is, it's going to suck. And I am going to hate that AVI format forever. And I'm never going to use it. Never, ever, ever, ever. So, nope. That is the Nope Express train right there. The AVI format. Don't you guys ever use it. Because it sucks. And it takes forever to upload to YouTube. I don't know if that's just because of big file size. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. Why the hell am I yawning so much? Come on. Or if it's just the uh, AVI format, it takes forever to upload on YouTube, even regardless of file size. I just don't know what it could be. Anyways, guys, I'm about to end this because I'm almost at Walmart. I'm in like quarter of a mile away and I want to thank you guys so much for watching these videos so go ahead and like this video for me hit subscribe down below and share leave a comment down below if you want to say anything uh, follow me on Twitter at MontyLSV6 and Instagram and Facebook and all that stuff so give me a shout out represent and I'll see you guys later Totally fell asleep at the light. So, thanks guys so much for watching. Monty LSV6 out.